Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today, we're making cracked chicken. Now I've seen this posted online for years and they call it cracked chicken because it's supposed to be highly addictive. And honestly, I do not like the name cracked chicken. I just don't think that's a good name for it. You don't want to be like, here kids, here's you some cracked chicken. Enjoy. I think they could have gave it a better name, you know, just a more normal name. That's just not a cool name to me. But, I've seen this posted all over social media for years and it just keeps going boom, boom, everywhere I go, right up in my face. So I figured today we gotta try it out and I figured I would bring y'all along with me. So let's get started. All right, so in my crock pot, whoa, in my crock pot I have three and a half pounds of chicken breast. You could certainly use thighs if you would like or a mixture of chicken breast and thighs. So I'm just going pretty basic here using the basic recipe. Um, I'm gonna season it with a little bit of black pepper. I know it's gonna need some black pepper. And you could also put any other seasoning you'd like on there. You could add to this whatever you would like. But we're gonna go with two one ounce packages of the Hidden Valley seasoning mix. Sprinkle it on there evenly. Second package. It's a lot of seasoning mix, ain't it? Going in with two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese. Two eight ounce packages. One going in. Second package in. Stick it in our hole like that. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to cook this on high for about four hours. Give or take a little. You could cook it on low, but it's going to take probably eight or nine hours. So I'm going to turn it on high and just let it cook. So for this chicken recipe, there's got to be some bacon involved, don't there? So on this pan, I've got seven slices of bacon, and I'm going to bake it in the oven at 375 degrees until it is crispy. We want to get that bacon pretty crisp. This has been going four hours. Pull the lid off. My lighting is good enough, but you can see my chicken I had went in and stirred it a few times, especially about the first hour. But look at that chicken. I mean, it's already just falling apart. Just breaking up so, so easy. And we're just gonna take this chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and break it up really, really good. Now you can see what it looks like after we shredded it up. It actually looks pretty good, I think, since we shredded it up real real fine and honestly it smells pretty dang good y'all i'm gonna put the lid on it and just put it on low until my bacon is ready now i just had this sitting on warm for a little while and uh with it covered now we're gonna go ahead and add in the seven slices of bacon that i chopped up and just stir it all together. Get that bacon mixed up in there real good. You can see that steam coming off this stuff. It's still piping hot. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with this. How I'm going to serve it up. And there's many, many ways you could serve this. And there's many, many more things you can do this. I've seen people put spring onions in it or green onions. Uh, cheddar cheese. But I'm going with the basic recipe today. Now before I serve it the way that I'm going to serve it, I think you all like the way I'm going to serve it, I'm going to taste a bite of it just by itself. Now by itself, it is pretty dang good. And I will say, the chicken breast is a little on the dry side, but you got so much moisture and everything from the cream cheese, the liquid that the chicken breast um, produce so that kind of makes up for it but ultimately I think next time I would use chicken thighs so what I have here is a brioche bun very beautiful brioche bun and I have layered me a good amount of that chicken on top and I'm gonna take some thin sliced red onion because that right there has got to go fabulous with this. I think red onion is going to be the best condiment for this. Look at that. 
Now, let's see what our crap chicken sandwich tastes like with them red onions. I think that'll be a good pair. Let's give that another bite. Mm. Well, here's my conclusion, guys. Uh, the sandwich was great with the brioche bun and that red onion. I think it really complemented it very, very well. But, would I say it's addictive like crack? Crack chicken? I wouldn't. I would say that is very, very good, and that is probably something I would cook maybe once a month. And I think next time I would use chicken thighs or maybe a mixture of breast and thighs because the chicken was a little bit dry, but it was still very, very tasty. And it was, and that was my first time trying it, but I think I would give it another name. I would call that creamy ranch chicken. Shredded creamy ranch chicken is what I would call it. What? But I really think that is worth giving a try. Uh, if you haven't tried it, tried it. If it's something that you make all the time, Tell me how you make it. Tell me what you put in. And if you haven't tried it, try it the way that I've done it or tweak it to your taste. But regardless, I think everyone will enjoy it. But it just don't hold up to his name, Crack Chicken. But anyways, guys, I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've gotten. We're up to almost 28,000 subscribers, and this is blowing my mind, y'all. Um, and I really appreciate everyone that watches and I want to continue to grow this channel. I want to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. I want to get that YouTube silver play button and y'all, I, y'all mean so much to me. I mean, you don't even know what you're doing for my life. You're just making it better. And I love all the great feedback from everybody. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you all. But until next time, guys, I will see you again for another episode, and thanks for watching, and I will see y'all again next time. Cheers.